All right, I hope you guys are doing great today. It seems like the weather has uh, cleared up a bit here in southern France. After one month of uh, rain, we've got a lot of rain this year here. Uh, but anyway, I'm not going to talk about the weather today, not for so long. Uh, I'm going to talk about frugality, you know, the frugality, the, the art of being uh, smart with your money, the art of not wasting your money, spending less money, uh, the art of being able to save as much as you can. Um, and um, I, see, I see a catch to it, you know. Uh, I consider myself to be a frugal person. I try at least to be, to be smart with my money. Um, and um, I still see a, a catch. Let me explain. Frugality is a kind of, you know, double-edged sword. You know, it's, uh, there is a fine line between being frugal and being cheap. There is a fine line between being, you know, smart with your money and being miserable. And there is a fine line between, you know, uh, saving money and uh, not living your life at its, at its, uh, at its fullest, you know. Um, when it comes to money, uh, of course, it's stupid to spend money on things you don't need. Of course, the society wants you to buy stuff, always. There is plenty of, you know, uh, marketers, salespersons willing you to... Uh, uh, wanting you to buy something, you know. Uh, society wants you to buy the latest car, the biggest house, the mansions, the you name it, you know. All the stuff you don't really need if you are not into these things. Some people really need a mansion because without a mansion they aren't happy. Uh, but most of us, we don't need it, you know. We just want a, enough, a good enough house, a car we like, or not even a car for some people. Uh, being able to do, you know, the, um, the things we like, to practice the passions, the, the hobbies we like. And that's all. We don't need really that much, you know. We don't need it all, you know. Um, and of course, it's stupid to, to spend money on, or to work harder, to spend money on services, on items, on things you don't really need, okay. That makes sense. Um, but if you are too frugal, uh, if you... Think too much about what you are spending every time, you end up being miserable. For example, uh, I have a passion. Uh, I like driving or not. I like cars, but I like cars, but I love driving. I love I love driving. You know, I, I'm a steering wheel guy. You know, but I still like cars. And to drive, I need a car. Okay. And I, for example, on average, I spend uh, on average just over 500 euros per month on fuel, on gasoline. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's about 6,000 euros only on gasoline every year, okay? Could be more. Sometimes it's more. But on average, it's 6,000 euros per year. That's a lot. So some people, you know, may argue and say, yeah, but you know, it's stupid to spend that much money on, uh, on, uh, on, uh, on, on fuel, on gasoline, on petrol. If you're from Australia and New Zealand, you guys say petrol. In the US, they say gasoline. On fuel. It's stupid to, to spend that much on fuel. I understand and I agree, you know, and I wished I, uh, I, were, I weren't fond of cars. I wished I, I didn't have this passion, but I like driving. I like cars, you know, so, and I don't want to, I don't want, I don't want myself to be miserable. You know, if I don't drive, I'm not happy and I, okay, I'm frugal. I'm careful with my money, you know. There are a lot of things I don't buy because they don't make me happy. For example, I don't buy, I don't buy, uh, uh, you know, uh, shoes very often. I buy maybe shoes once a year, twice a year, they, once or twice a year, no? Um, my pants are seven years old, you know, the pants I'm wearing. This, this, uh, this item is uh, eight or nine, nine years old, you know, this cap. Or they, I don't know who you call this, tell me in the comment below. But uh, I tend to be very frugal. But when it comes to my passions, my hobbies, I, I still, you know, I still want to spend the money because those, uh, these things makes me, uh, make me happy. And uh, I understand life is short. We don't have much left, you know, maybe 80 years if you're, if you're lucky, 90 years if you're very lucky. And it's not guaranteed. Life is short and we still need to enjoy life, you know. Enjoying life, being happy is a good investment. 
If you're a frugal person, talk, uh, t- uh, t- um, think about it for a bit. Being happy in life is 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 a good investment because you're here um, to be happy. You're here to uh, to be content with your life. Okay. If you are miserable, what's the point of living? There's no point. So, of course, being frugal is smart. You know, uh, not buying useless uh, things is smart. Investing your money, trying to invest as much as you can, is smart, of course. But don't be, don't be, don't go too hard on this. You know, don't be, don't be too crazy. No, don't forget, you still need to enjoy your life. You still need to uh, to be happy. You still need to uh, to uh, to be to enjoy your life every day. You know, I like to to wake up and to have a to uh, to have a good day. Okay, and to have a good day, I need to buy something. Sometimes, yes, not only a roof, not only food, not only a shower. Of course, th- uh, those things are are necessities, okay? But I'm not a monk. <laughs> I'm not a freaking monk, you know? Uh, if you are a monk, it's okay. If you're happy being a monk, it's okay. But if you're not a monk, you're like me, for example, you like uh, bicycles, for example. Uh, and you like to, sp- to have a very good bicycle because you are a bicycle freak and uh, you are fond of, bis- uh, of bicycles and uh, it's your, you're into bicycles. Go for it. Buy a good bicycle and uh, spend the money on bicycles because it makes you happy, you know, and you still need to be happy. Don't be miserable because you're frugal. Okay. So there's the catch. You know, it's a, it's really a, a double edged uh, sword because there is always a fine line, you know, there's always a fine line between being smart with your money, being miserable, um, being able to save, uh, not enjoying your life. Life is short. Life is short. And now that we are talking about frugality, forget the frugality with a D. Um, all we've got in, in this world are is time and experiences. Okay? We don't care about the stuff. I don't care about the stuff. Let me get right to the point. I don't care about the stuff. I don't care about cars. But I, I, I like the experience, for example, cars provide me. I like the experience traveling provides me. I like the experience uh, eating a freaking good pizza provides me, okay? It's all about the experiences. All we've got is time and experiences, okay? So let's make the best of it and let's, let's you know, live our life to the, to the first, you know? Let's enjoy life. Don't forget to enjoy life. Life is short. You won't live 150 years, 150 years. I don't think so. 80, 90 years if you're lucky, if you don't smoke, if you don't go too crazy on alcohol, if you eat well, uh, if you don't eat junk food, don't buy junk food, it's expensive now. You know, junk food used to be, you know, the cheap food you could buy for four or five euros. It wasn't healthy, but it was cheap at least. Nowadays, even junk food is freaking expensive, okay? So I I just don't buy uh, junk food anymore. Pizza sometimes, you know, in... um, in uh, in good pizzeria, pizzerias, you know, I know where the pizzas are good or in my my place, but uh, I don't see the point of buying French fries, for example. I still buy French fries sometimes. I agree, sometimes, maybe once once uh, once a month, every, uh, once every two months, but not on a daily basis, because it's nasty for your health and it's expensive. Okay, so if I have to pay the price, I rather I much rather pay. Uh, the price for good food, uh, put them into my mouth, you know, the um, uh, healthy, uh, healthy, healthy food uh, and not the, the junk food for the same price. Does that make sense? Tell me in the comment below, smash the like button if you like this, uh, if you like uh, this video, if you liked this video and if you like my, my videos overall, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Talk to you soon and yeah, don't forget to enjoy your, your life, you know. Frugality is good, it's smart, it's a smart move, but don't go too crazy, you know? There is a fine line between being miserable and being frugal. Don't be cheap either, and don't forget to enjoy your life, and do not hesitate to not to spend the money on things that make you happy, because it really makes sense. Being happy in life is a good investment.